Hi team, I wanna take a moment and talk about voiced and voiceless sounds. This is something that you would definitely see in, let's say an English language learner class or an SEI class or an ELL class of some sort, a very common concept. And you do see these on the reading exams. So let's clarify them. First, let's talk about, you know, voiced and voiceless. And, and this, this picture here, it says voice on, voice off. This is referencing the vocal cords. And if we have a sound like, let's say, take the sound B, I mean, uh, I mean, B, yes, B is a good one. B and P, okay? Here's how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm going to make the sound, I'm gonna make the P sound for first. This is voiceless. I want you to touch, I want you to make the sound for P. Touch your, touch your, you don't have to really touch your, your jaw or throat, uh, your, your jaw or tongue. I want you to touch your, your vocal cords here and just make the P sound. The vocal cords are not active. They're off. We say voice off. Now I'm going to add in my vocal cords. B, 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 b. It changes. Now it becomes a voice sound and it goes from the P to the B. Now try that one more time. Alternate between and touch your vocal cords. B, 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 b. Notice that the position of my, th my mouth, my throat, my tongue is the exact same for both the sound of P and B. But one of them, the B, is, is voiced, meaning it uses the vocal cords, and the P is not voiced. There are no vocal cord cords used. So this is an example of um, a voice sound is when you use the vocal cords and you have that vibration behind the sound. And a voiceless sound is one where you don't and you can't feel that vibration or the vocal cords. Now, there's lots of applications to this, but um, let's just spend a little bit more time. Go through this list here and try this. Go down and, and try and make these voiceless sounds. So you're like, we got right? No voice. Okay, now we, we're going to add in the voice. The, the p becomes a b, and the f becomes a v, and the t becomes a d, t, d. Notice that the positioning of everything in the mouth, throat, and tongue is the exact same. The only thing that we're adding to it is the vocal cords that makes it voice, that vibration. This, this is a fun one. Now, now, outside of, you know, uh, certain realms, you may never have heard of this before. My, a good chance that you have heard of these basic ones, these basic uh, voice, unvoiced sounds and voice sounds. You probably have had exposure to some of that. And these trickle in to questions. Um, so let's take a look at one of them where this concept is involved um, in uh, this one is involved. Now, if you're a speech pathologist, you would be like, this would be like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> number one, <laughs> right? A speech pathologist would be working with voice and voiceless sounds, uh, the uh, um, the uh, voicing the TH, unvoicing the TH, you know, like they'd be working with that a lot. But but right now as, a, as maybe first exposure, this is where you start with the with the P, the F, the T, the B, the, the V, the D, okay? All right, team. Now let's, now let's take this and let's add it to a question, okay? now that we know what voice and voiceless sounds are. 